included an hour-long parade through the center of Albia to the square, along with an art and quilt show. Gymnasts from the Chicago Boys Acrobatic Team also performed at the event. The celebration was started back in the 70s when a man named Robert Bates started a campaign to restore all of the historic buildings in the town square. Those buildings are now on the National Register of Historic Places. Many say the festival is a source of pride for the community. And it's kind of a reminder that, you know, small town Iowa, that you can restore communities, you can still have a community, that the, the lights are still on, and that uh, maintaining our culture and pride, and, and, and particularly our historic buildings, Today's festivities concluded with an evening folly show, but for those who like history, tomorrow the Monroe County Historical Society will be leading tours at 1 p.m. of Buxton. That's an integrated old coal mining town that existed in the early 1900s and was located just north of Albia.